Hello everyone, I am going to talk about my favorite book called The Hiding Place by Corrie Ten Boom. It is an autobiography uh, she wrote during uh, for her time during World War II. And uh, one of the many reasons why I love this book is because I love history, I love this time, I love um, the messages that she um, that she writes about and how all the, all the experiences that she had um, though were horrific that she got so much out of her time there um, and it is first uh, publicized in 1971 um, by Corey herself and then it's been remastered several times so this copy that I'm reading from um, is the 35th anniversary edition. So it's been through several publications and it is a phenomenal book. Um, it starts in uh, Holland in 1937 uh, and uh, we learn about Corey's family, um, their faith that's very important to them, and also their conviction during this time in uh, in their occupied um, land, how um, they feel it is necessary for them to hide as many Jews from, from the Germans as possible. And they um, risk death and risk uh, deportation to various camps, uh, concentration camps around um, to save uh, other people. And that is one of the many themes throughout this book. Um, but the main theme I would think of when I have read this book and when I reread this book is the, the message of love. And this message is all throughout the book. And it is, it, as you read, it gets stronger. Um, and it's interesting to me that, you know, in their hardest and darkest times in their, when they're in these concentration camps and going through some really horrific things that that message is incredibly bright. Um, and so I'm going to read a little passage for you that kind of it displays that, that, that message very clearly. And um, I hope that you will uh, see that m message as well. We followed the officer down a wide street lined with barracks on either side and halted at one of the gray featureless sheds. It was the end of a long day of standing, waiting, hoping. We had simply arrived in the main camp at Vought. The barracks appeared almost identical with the one we had left this morning, except that this one was furnished with bunks as well as tables and benches. And still we were not allowed to sit. There was at last wait while the matron was maddening, maddening deliberateness checked off of her documents against the list. Betsy, I wailed, how long will it take? Perhaps a long, long time, perhaps many years, but what better way could there be to spend our lives? I turned and stared at her. Whatever are you talking about? These young women, the girls back at the bunks. Corey, if people can be taught to hate, they can be taught to love. We must find the way, you and I, no matter how long it takes. She went on, almost forgetting in her excitement to keep her voice to a whisper, while I slowly took in the fact that she was talking about our guards. I glanced at the matron seated at the desk ahead of us. I saw a gray uniform and a visored hat, but Betsy saw a wounded human being. So that's towards the end of, of the book. I don't want to spoil the rest of it for you, um, but I hope that you will get a copy of this book and that you read it. And I hope that you really enjoy it as I have for many years.